seagulls, mate. Seagulls. I've been monitoring the seagull situation with great nice. interest because there's been all sorts of mad stuff. There's all bit like the birds have been reacting, um, you know, to this quarantine situation like erratically because of the food yeah. situation. You know, people aren't going out. You know, tourists aren't there. But like they think that they've found a reason why seagulls are getting so aggro. And once again, it turns out it's in humans what are to blame. You see, they're addicts. They were addicted the whole time. What's been happening is we're going out there eating, f***ing, you know, Greg sausage rolls, you know, Chippy, steak bitch. Yeah, battered sausage, Mac EDs. Delicious, delicious, delicious <laughs> junk food. And we don't eat it all or we, we throw a little bit away. And then a seagull comes along and what are they used to eating? You know, like mice, voles, bits of know. seeds. Seaweed. You know, I don't even know where they get that yeah, No worms. Nowhere near as delicious as a Greg's pasty. Nowhere near. And they have one taste of it, mate, and it fucking blows their mind. It just blows their tiny little Reese seagull mind. Goodness. Yeah, so then what started happening is they get addicted to the junk food in the same way we get addicted to junk food, right? So there was this study, this is the report here. Tests on 114 birds showed those that were fed, I mean, what they lovingly call urban diets, <laughs> fat <laughs> bastard food, were left with less good bacteria in their gut than those given at, um, a high fiber food. So it's bad for them and they're getting addicted to it. Scientists found bird, birds living in towns and cities are ditching insects, worms, grubs, and berries for leftover bits of burger, pizza, chicken nuggets, and chips. They're actually making a preference. They go, fucking hell, I don't want to eat that delicious beetle over there. Not when I can have a nuggy. Fuck that. Right? This, well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the good call, right? <laughs> anyway, the, uh, there was a doctor in uh, Ghent University in Belgium, and he basically said that, you know, that's why they're getting so aggro, but it's also causing them long-term health problems. So, good. this is one... This is, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, but this is one thing I'd never really considered, see, because, like, I never factored in. Like, is it, is it... If somebody does something because they're addicted, we do have a tendency to sit Yeah, there. yeah, but fuck up. They're seagulls, but they're still fucking evil. Right, if someone yeah. was addicted to, like, heroin, but they were going out and just slapping food out of people's hands, yeah, I would still call them a cunt whether they're addicted or not. So yeah, you but here's the thing, it. like, so imagine a world where there's a guy and he was a drug addict and he's out there and he's robbing, you know, and he ends up going to jail and he gets clean and he turns his life around and he says, like, oh, you know, the drugs had its yeah, hooks in me. Yeah, he turns his life around, sure. But these yeah, eagles well, see, aren't going this... back to fucking insects, are they? Yeah, well, that's they what I'm saying. fucking attacking people with chips in their hand. If they, well, yeah, like, you, you'd if have they just to take the seagulls bins... to prison to rehabilitate them, is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, you have to take the fucking pain town, but with the right hook. That's how you rehabilitate a seagull with uppercuts. Right. Just saying, though, if we had a, if we had a seagull rehabilitation centre where they had to go cold turkey, no more delicious chips, no more Big Macs, you know, none of that. And then we re we put them back into the wild. Would they still be cunts? Is what I'm asking. Oh yeah, but because it's more so? delicious, isn't it? They haven't got a, a conscience. They just like I know that food's more tasty than these grubs. I can see that food is in someone's hand. I'm gonna go rip it out. So you don't think we can make them go cold, nah, cold turkey? <laughs> I think they're a lost cause. That's sad. Like, um, well, okay. Uh, what I can what I can do is then if we're just concluding that seagulls are cunts, uh, and there is no cure for that. I can get. To, I can give you a tip on what to do. You see, nice. Sam says, take them to Pain Town, right? Well, an interview with a, uh, a bird behaviour expert. <laughs> of course, that exists. That's a it's job. It's true. It's true. Uh, this is. Uh, um, a senior, this is backed up by a senior lecturer at the University of Exeter. They say if you want to stop a seagull from like swooping in and taking your delicious food, uh, what you have to do is you have to stare them out. Oh, nice, but mad dog and a gull. Like. You have to mad dog the seagulls. Because basically, what happens is the seagulls, they're pretty intelligent. I mean, I, again, I, you know, I've learned a lot while I've been in quarantine about seagulls. They get pretty intelligent, they're pretty intelligent. 
and they study your behavior. So when they're trying to locate food, they know when you're unwrapping something, for example, like we saw in the famous video of the guy spewing, he's spewing. It waited for him to unwrap the delicious sausage roll and then it swooped in and it had the roll. It knew the, the delicious part was in the bag and it mustn't attack beforehand. It has the weight. It has the weight. So they're studying us. So what you have to do is you have to straight intimidate them psycho psychologically. You have to stare I'll be the at the fucking them. hacker to a girl, mate. That's what it takes. Mm. So, he, so here it is. Uh, last year, uh, the a, a team, Doctor Doctor Bugert, who is like a scientist that's been studying seagull behavior. Uh, her team found that gulls will hesitate before snatching your food if you just stare them out. If you just stare at them, and the doctor says. What she's figured out is it's because the bird knows that you're onto them. Like, you know that they're, it's trying to nick your food. Yeah. So it knows, like, oh, it's watching me. Like, I better be slick here, or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm not going to get away with it. Maybe, maybe it's going to have a grip. So they're basically saying it's like a shoplifter. If a shoplifter's being followed, they don't start putting things in their pockets. So a seagull is about as intelligent as the average shoplifter. Good to know. Yeah, good to know. So, I, I, you know, I want to educate people. Obviously, I've never advocated for violence against animals. I, I think all the goals should be humanely called. I've always maintained that. <laughs> 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 I want to make that absolutely clear. I did vote I believe for it. boat gun usage for all guns. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make that absolutely clear. But in in the absence of c culling people, uh, what you can do is you can, of course, just stare them out instead, and that'll keep your chips safe, if if uh, if nothing else. I let you off once before, but you still got the nerve to come back here and make trouble again. Eh? What does it all mean?